What's up? So we're back in the garage. We've got a few more guys in the shop. El Jefe's gone today, but we've got Ben here and his brother Wes with uh, <laughs> Peace Performance. So you guys saw us putting the adapter on in a previous video. Well, it didn't quite work the way we wanted. So these guys actually put it on the bridge port and machined it out for us. And today or tonight, we're going to put this T-case back on the transmission and clock it and see if it holds. So hopefully the next few days will be going in. What he said. And then be find a different attachment point, which is where I found this at. Which you should really have to see how much. I was going to say, maybe you're wrong. Everybody's lower on a power steering pump. It's different. 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 So, you've got to have that up there. Yeah. So, the hydraulic ring. What we're doing is. Be Putting this back together for the 15th time. Um, <laughs> so I had to make the 6L90 look at a 205. I had to get this adapter and this adapter. So basically the T-case adapter transfers from a figure eight bolt pattern to a round pattern, which is also mimics the Atlas T-case. Um, well, advanced adapters has real bits to clock the TK down to where the Chevy is, uh, factory Chevy spec, it, that was not gonna work for us. Basically, it dropped this yoke down way past the frame rails. So we're just, we re-drilled everything, clocked it back up, now we're just going back together with it. And hopefully this will be going back in the Jeep here before long. Okay. What, what What's causing it to get in a bind right now? These nuts? 430? 434 pounds on this transmission jack. So in case you guys are wondering when a transmission jack fails from Harbor Freight, it's at 434 pounds. Back in my day, I used to court. Yeah. yeah. I a quarter mile over that mountain right there and I can lift that thing up one hand. Yeah, okay, go to bed, Grandpa. Did <laughs> you have a seat in the middle of that? What? Yes. So it sounded like you had a seat. Okay. <laughs> I have how, how much you need to trim off. The chains were welded over here. Nuh-uh. Yeah. The way. But. So at least these aren't going to go anywhere. You must be like your Wait, freaking get close up of the welds. Mm, I hate these fucking 110 MIGs. Okay. I'm talking about I quality. Yeah, I know. And there's only so much they can do, and they're inconsistent. Agreed. But it's a Lincoln. It's it's the I NASCAR. think it's an operator NASCAR. error. NASCAR. We're, we're doing it for Dale over here. This is prototype for sure. Mine was prototype. No. <laughs> Yours was worse than Jerry. Not the, yeah. not the, yeah. no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh my God. Don't worry, I've picked up that entire bucket like this one. Hey, if one of those long bolts work, we'll just cut it to length. How do you manage to pick also a 3816? Jesus Christ. Yes. I think that's metric. Yeah, it's metric. Yeah. It has to be. Well, Brett. <laughs> Is it going to remember that? I, I still have my shop page on Facebook. I told you you had one. Every now and then I'll get like somebody like messaging. Or, like, Probably too long. It's usually something like really weird. But so, we can we can shorten the bug. Or something. <laughs> but it makes me look at like the old messages from customers. And like, oh, damn, it was cheap. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, we oopsed. So we okay. put the T case on and somebody not naming any names decided to put a bolt in the wrong hole. So we had to Maybe if you would have tapped it for the right thread. And all To be fair, said, it was one that was To not, be fair. To be fair. To be fair. <laughs> um it was one that was already previously tapped from the factory. But someone put a different bolt in it. So um anyway. We're gonna, we found a bolt, we're gonna cut it down. We'll fill it in. Just another thing to add to the list, that's all.
We did not get anything done tonight. So Wes is cleaning up a bolt right now. We're going to cut down and thread into this adapter. The T case is actually clocked, so um, we're going to get this all set up, and hopefully this weekend it's going in is the is the thought. Um, and then all the way, the only thing we've got from there is throw the front clip on, bolt everything in the in the uh, Jeep, and then get drive shafts made. And it should be moving under its own power. So, fingers crossed, we're out on the trail here soon, and all of this shop content ceases, and we're just going and having fun. So, um, be on the lookout for Mud and Mocha in February. Um, I think it's the, yeah, February 24th is Mud and Mocha at Lost Lakes Adventure Park. And then we have a potluck Mud and Mocha in the evening that we are camping out in in March. So be on the lookout for that. Both of these events are posted on our Facebook page. Um, like, follow, subscribe. Every little bit helps. Every little bit counts. So even if you watch 30 seconds of our video, if you just let it play, it helps us. So please, please, please like, follow, share, subscribe, all the above. Um, link is in the description for merch. Uh, we've got a hoodie available. We'll have t-shirts here soon. So thanks for following along. We'll catch you guys on the next one.